Hey, what's going on there everybody? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 for the start of the Mega Campaign 2020. Now, if you're new to this channel, you haven't followed any other channels that have done a Mega Campaign before. A Mega Campaign is where you play from CK2 all the way to the end in Hoi 4. So you go through CK2, EU4, Victoria, and Hoi 4. Some people go ahead and play Stellaris too, but I refuse to exist in the same world as that game. And also if you're new to this channel and you don't know, I've already done a mega campaign before, so if you want to go ahead and watch that one, it will be linked down below because I will be staggering the uploads on this, so if you want to go back and watch the old one, now is the time to do it. And uh, sorry for the long intro of course, but I know a lot of people have been waiting for this mega campaign and I've been thinking a lot about exactly how I should do it. So at the end of my old mega campaign, I was Still a bit too overpowered for my liking. So today, well, uh, the past week or so, I've actually come up with something that I think is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, now, last time, what we went ahead and done in my old Mega campaign was we only played around 100 years of CK2. And we're probably going to do the same thing today because in CK2, you can get a bit too powerful. So when you get to EE4, there's not a lot of challenge left. And personally, while it is fun in most of my other games to just conquer the entire map, for the Mega Campaign, I'd like to build a bit more of a story. Because, uh, you know, you could just go ahead and conquer all of Europe in one game. There's no real reason to just spread it across the entirety of four games. It is actually quite fun to do a bit of... RP. But of course I won't get too much into that for now. I just wanted to give you guys the basics of what I had in mind because self-limiting in Mega Campaigns is very important. But... Nonetheless, I want to go ahead and give everyone a big shout out to getting me to 500k in December, which is what originally was going to release this mega campaign. But unfortunately, things in life kind of took a turn for something not so great. And uh, I'm now back. I'm doing the mega campaign. And I just want to say big thank you to everyone that has supported this channel through the past or present right now. I appreciate all of you guys very much. And uh, everyone that leaves likes and hits the subscribe button. It helps out greatly. Of course, I don't really do any sub goals anymore, but every time someone does go ahead and hit the sub button, it is always appreciated. But enough of that. Today, it's, uh, it's finally time I tell you what I got planned. So, you may be thinking, England, eh? That's a bit boring. But in CK2, um, I feel like we could have a bit of fun as them. So today, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and play a duke. Not because there's really that much to do as a duke, and we could just go ahead and play as the actual king of England and do a bunch of conquering and have all the British Isles by the time we get to EU4. That's not that fun, is it? I kind of want to give myself a bit of a challenge and kind of just mess with the world a bit more, you know? <laughs> uh, first off, um... You know, I just, I don't, I don't really feel like a Duke Edwin of Mercia. I don't feel like that at all. I, I get this kind of like supposed to be a crown or whatever, but I, I do just look like the really depressed kid who's gone to sit on Santa's lap and is a bit too old for it. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm still in the mindset of my last CK2 video because <laughs> it's Rat Boy of the Rat Realm. All right, this time around, we definitely need to go ahead and make sure we give him one very important trait. <laughs> I, I'm not doing anything else for that. He's, he's just a dwarf called Rat Boy. Rat Boy of the Rat Realm. Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, so we are in the middle of the uh, Norman Quan Kong. <laughs> Uh, we are in the midst of the Norman Conquest of England. I don't know if uh, Duke William uh, is going to go ahead and keep me around <laughs> if he wins. But we're going to go ahead and see what happens. Uh, we're also going to worry about the big Viking man in the north. <laughs> don't worry, Duke Rapboy of Mercy is definitely going to have his way. He'll he'll slime his way out of anything. Uh, you know, I feel like this, uh, this uh, guy from uh, Normandy. Uh, yeah, oh, uh... I feel like he might have a good point, you know. I feel like he should be King of England. I'm sorry, but I refuse to to accept the fact that that's a real name. I think you just had a stroke and headbutted the keyboard, Missy. Uh, I don't I don't know if you want to go ahead and realize this, but I need an heir. I don't I need you to bang your wife, Mister Mister Rat Boy. Honestly, is that my wife? Oh, that is my wife. Oh, wait, no, that's not my wife. Who are you? Well, I got someone pregnant. Just not the person I wanted to get pregnant. Oh, would you look at that? I'm I'm Norwegian now. Um, uh, still got still a duke though. And uh, do you like me? You do kind of like me. Although I'm minus nine because I'm a foreigner. You conquered me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and accept to be on your council. 
but at the same time, I I don't I don't know if you're gonna be in control for that much longer. Oh, I'm glad our little rat boy's son's been born. Uh, he didn't inherit the uh, the dwarf genetics though. He's just a, he's just a good old fashioned bat. Well, that's gonna make things interesting. Uh, well, the the Normans lost, and we are now definitely Norwegian, which is fine with me as long as I get to keep my titles. I don't care who's uh, who's. Yeah, that's why I'm sniffing. Uh, I don't think I want to do that though. Or do I? Do I? How interesting do I make this mega campaign? Ah, well. Is it really that bad? I I just need you to bang your wife. Okay, she's right there. Look at her. What a stunner. She hates me, but I need you to bang her so bad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> minus twenty-five to unfaithful. Yeah, and the attraction to dwarf minus thirty. <laughs> All I had to do was go ahead and make her the official court regent, the court tutor, and give her a bunch of gold, and she agreed to sleep with me, the dwarf man. Oh, apparently I'm also still banging the, uh, the SpaghettiOs woman. <laughs> she, yeah, two for the price of one, I heard you. I'm sorry, what type of name is that? Elfwine Rat Boyson. Excuse me. I can't stand for that. He's going to be, it's going to be Rat Boy number two. Oh, thank God. It's just a woman. I don't have to deal with this child at all, and we can just throw it in the trash quite literally. Oh, apparently after the uh, the two children I gave this woman, and the fact she hates me completely because I am a dwarf, she has finally decided to break up with me. Okay, perfect. Maybe you should be banging dwarfs anyway, yo. Here we go. After uh, breaking up with my loved one and finally getting my wife pregnant, I'm going to write a book on the intricacies of relationships. Ooh, so I went ahead and got myself a claim of uh, this little pit of whales down here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try and beat them up. Will it go well? I don't know. Ah, well, I didn't go that bad at all, really. Uh, I lost a bit of money, but I got one province. I am a success. Not really. Oh, well, I, I don't need a daughter, really, unfortunately. I guess I, I'm going to marry you after some Middle Eastern diplomat at some point. But uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll give you some name. Uh, give us something that I like. We'll just call it Pepsi Max, you know? You know you're, you're a delicious drink. Actually, no. I, I like Pepsi Max too much. I don't like you. Hmm. Dr. PP. Oh, I died! And now I'm a child. Uh-oh. Oh, I looked away for a second, and England's back. Hey there! Uh, of course, England uh, pops away for a second. <laughs> Straight to war with France, are we? Uh, it didn't take too long for me to uh, remarry my mum off to uh, this guy who looks like he could be wearing a wig. Hey, Mazel Tov! We've come of age and we, we look disgustingly like our father. We even stole his stupid Santa hat. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I want to get a... <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I want to get extra fertility from a man looking like yourself, but since it's not really my life I'm ruining, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, my, I have succeeded, my duke. If you drink this concoction, your potency will magnify tenfold. Uh-oh. Oh, it actually worked. The man's a goddamn wizard. Wait, a wizard? Hold on a second. Oh, my wife's pregnant already, which is pretty good. I do need an heir. I'm just a, a bit scared as to what sort of Harry Potter baby that's going to pop out of her. Uh, also, considering the whole of England right now and the British Isles currently covered in smallpox, I should probably go ahead and shut the gates, really. Oh, no, it's, it's not the magical demon I was expecting. It's even worse. It's a female. Uh... <laughs> oh, God damn it. God damn it. You're making it worse for me. God damn it. Why did I trust you, wizard? No. I'm, uh, I'm now Harry Potter. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, we're currently on a crusade against a two-year-old in Egypt. Hey, uh, okay, well, I'm helping. I, I'm helping <laughs> with the crusade. It's me, the eight-year-old girl. Right, I've gone ahead, I've stole a couple more claims across England, and we are looking pretty damn thick. We're over our uh, actual demand size right now, though, but I'm hoping to change that if we get ourselves a little baby. But uh, to do that, I need to not die for at least five years, like that just keeps on happening. The uh, question is, though, now that I'm a woman, can I just bang my way across the country? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully say yeah. Oh, <laughs> did take luck. <laughs> Uh-oh! Oh, great. I'm I'm quite literally hiring a sorcerer this time to treat my ailments as I lay ill in bed from this pregnancy. Fine! Hallelujah! We got a son! 
Rap Boy Free Arena. He's gonna die. He's just gonna die. It's the name. It is the name. You know what? I haven't worshipped the devil much this time around, have I? Uh, oh no. Okay. We're having a bit of a dance with death. So, uh, I don't know if you could tell. That didn't go too well, you know? I'm starting to think our dynasty <laughs> might be slightly cursed. You know, I feel like it's not just my dynasty that might be cursed. I think it might be this whole goddamn island we need to just burn to the small poxy ground. Oh, uh, the guy that just got... <laughs> the guy who just became the king of England is, uh, he's currently in prison. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, so if I just go ahead and, like, just kill him... King of, king, of, king, of, king of England, baby! It's Rap Boy for the Vengeful! Oh, no, that's... <laughs> uh, unfortunately, because of the uh, the two... Well, the double homicide I committed to get in power, uh, of both killing the guy who was going to get elected, who was also conveniently in my prison, and the actual King of England, uh, everyone in my, uh, my council hates me, and... Uh, all of my vassals hate me too, but you know what? That's just the price you gotta pay when you're king, baby! Wait a second. How did my wife get pregnant? Well, I've been in Egypt for like a year and a half now. Excuse me? Right, we had a fun time in Egypt, and uh, I guess we don't even have to have that awkward conversation with my wife because she uh, unfortunately fell down the stairs, you know? That giant France over Norway doesn't look too pretty next to the giant England over Norway. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can rename Stonehenge. Um, doesn't look like Stonehenge in the picture, though. Ah, mm. mm. oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, baby, ah! Oh. I just realized I'm currently banging my heir's wife, you know? I just gotta make sure the bloodline's really pure, <laughs> you know? You gotta get yourself a little brother. Oh, why is it just a... Tiny little Egyptian blob in the middle of Normandy. A second. Why? Why is it when the the Countess of Wiltshire dies, it's getting inherited by someone from Benghazi? Excuse me. Oh, there's some righteous imprisonment against Duke Conan, the son of Saint of Wessex. But I don't think this guy's done anything bad. I can't think of a single thing that might be wrong with this man. Well, I may just uh, having to reclaim Wiltshire back from the Egyptians. Also, uh, we lost a couple kings, but now I currently have a fat king, and that mask is clearly too small for you, fatty. I can see that triple chin. Uh, also, Jerusalem owns half of Ireland. You know, that's just. Yeah. A bit of Sweden up here, you know, it's, just, it's all good, good. Oh, why is half of Denmark <laughs> under Muslim rule? Excuse me? Uh, oh. Yeah, some t at some point, one of my many rap babies has ended up married to the heir of Scotland. And I've just gone ahead and impregnated them. The rat life, everybody. Oh. If I want to repent my sins, I need to become celibate. Sure. Why not? Well, well, I guess, uh, there goes the Mongols. I think we'll watch a Mongol invasion, and then we'll probably cool it, because we've been going for over a hundred years now. A hundred and, like, oh my god, we've been going for a while. Yeah, I don't know how this whole celibate thing works when I have three lovers and a wife. How am I pleasing all of these women? You know, sometimes you just get, like, the most perfect traits on a character. Well... Finally got one! Uh, you know? I don't think we're going to be getting <laughs> much of a Mongol empire in our uh, mega campaign. Oh, you know what? We've got on for a very long time now. It's 12.30, so we almost did 200 years in CK2. It was a lot more than we did last time around. And our kingdom is looking pretty nice. Now, any more, and I feel like we'd have a bit too much, which is why I want to stop it here. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we are now going to convert this to EU4. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with, <laughs> you know, half a normal. Norway, which I own, but we we have a nice basis over here in England and Ireland, and uh, we also own something down here in Poland. But I don't. I'm just not going to worry about that. For the rest of the world, because of the uh, the actual successful campaigns, we're going to have a very very strong Christendom because all of Egypt in the Middle East is now Catholic, and the Byzantines are doing pretty damn fine. In fact, they own half. Well, I say half. They own a goddamn bunch of Russia. Uh, but yeah, this could be a very very interesting one to convert. It's a shame we didn't really get much from the Mongols, but uh, I don't want. To carry on any further, especially when we currently have a 
Muslim Denmark. But yes, if you're very excited for this mega campaign, stay tuned because the EU41 will be coming up soon. So leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, and please, for the love of God, if you want to support this series, now's the time to do it. Send to your friends, send to your mom, go ahead, buy some merch, link in the description, you know the drill. But until next time, guys, it's time.